Hi there and welcome to this day in history for June 21st. June 21st is the 172nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 173rd in leap years with 193 days remaining to the end of the year. June 21st is the International Day of Yoga, created to reflect harmony and peace for humanity and the promotion of global health, harmony, and peace. The International Day of Yoga was first celebrated on June 21st, 2015. By the way, when we have a pre-recorded episode with the pictures and the outro music, that outro music by Jesse Gallagher, well, he does live yoga with Jesse videos on his channel several times a week, and those are also available to watch at replay if you would like to follow along and do some yoga with Jesse, especially today on International Yoga Day. Today's word is hallmark. Hallmark is a noun that means a mark of quality, genuineness, or excellence or a distinguishing feature or character. The word hallmark comes to us after Goldsmiths Hall in London, where articles of precious metal, such as gold or silver, were stamped and appraised. Earliest documented use of the word hallmark is 1721. Halifax, Nova Scotia was founded on June 21st, 1749. New Hampshire became the ninth state to ratify the Constitution of the United States on June 21st, 1788. The Irish Rebellion of 1798 was an uprising against British rule in Ireland. Nearly a month into this particular rebellion, the British Army defeated Irish rebels at the Battle of Vinegar Hill. This was just one battle, though. This rebellion went on through the rest of the summer and into the fall, finally concluding in October. This is the birthday of Italian-American architect Paolo Soleri. What an interesting name, Paolo Soleri. Born June 21st, 1919. He came to America, settled in Arizona in 1956, and he had some ideas about urban design. And in 1970, began building Arcosanti, Arcosanti, a prototype urban laboratory, a theoretical community that would include residential, commercial, and agricultural facilities with the goal of doing so with the minimum environmental impact. This birthday caught my attention as I was looking at events for June 21st because I've been to Arcosanti. Interesting project. If you're ever on a road trip through Arizona, look up Arcosanti. It's spelled A-R-C-O-S-A-N-T-I. I think we found it in the um, AAA material and uh, just made sure, I mean, we didn't have to go out of our way. I think we saw a sign by the side of the road. <laughs> Here it is. So yeah, if you're ever on a road trip through Arizona, Look up Arco Santi, and if they're still open and operating, which I don't know after 2020, give yourself a few hours to go check it out. Paolo Soleri lived to the age of 93. Christopher Michael Pratt was born June 21, 1979. We know him better as American actor Chris Pratt, notable for his part as Andy Dwyer in the NBC sitcom Parks and Recreation, and Star-Lord in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy. Other credits include the Lego movie, Jurassic World, and a long list of movies and television parts. Happy birthday, Chris Pratt. Today's song is Sugar Pie Honey Bunch by The Four Tops. Its actual title is I Can't Help Myself, but most people find the tagline more recognizable. The song was written and produced by the Motown team of Lamont Dozier and brothers Brian and Eddie Holland. And this one hit number one for the first time this week in 1965. I Can't Help Myself by the Four Tops. 
And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include the link to my blog page that is called, no really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.